Hi, I'm Ryan Patrick. Let's talk cloud computing. Many of today's Canadian businesses want to take advantage of the flexibility of the cloud. I see what you did there. As I was saying, businesses want to take advantage of the cloud to reduce costs and improve operational efficiencies. But they want to do so in a way that prioritizes security. Research firm IDC predicts that the worldwide spend on cloud computing will exceed 500 billion by the year 2020. For security professionals, that means they need to support cloud adoption while mitigating risk and supporting proper controls. Security in the cloud is what's keeping them up at night. When you think about it, the cloud is nothing more than an enterprise level data storage model that manages digital data across logical pools and across multiple servers. And the cloud computing model, it takes many forms. So should organizations look at adopting the private cloud option or possibly looking into the public cloud? And what are some best practices when it comes to cloud adoption and cloud security? I recently spoke with Luke Villeneuve, CEO for Red Hat Canada in Toronto, to get his thoughts on cloud security. Well, the cloud certainly has brought to, to light a lot of questions about security. And uh, we, uh, we hear every customer who wants to go in the hybrid cloud, public cloud, they all ask a question. What do you guys do for making sure that my data is secured? People have access to properly to the, the, the level of, uh, of data that they're supposed to be able to, uh, and who, 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 how do I know who had access to the data? So all those questions are answered through different uh, solution that we offer. And uh, certainly it's been, uh, it's been a year of a storm around, around that sort of a topic. Public cloud is something that resides within a customer premises. So it's not, they are using legacy technology really to secure their environment and it's private, so it's public. It's, it's within their own walls. Hybrid cloud is a little bit more complicated because they can spin off workload into Amazon, Google, other places where they want to make sure that the environment is fully secured. And uh, that's where the, the complexity of integrating the ecosystem, making sure everybody works together. Uh, it's funny, I was just reading an article this morning about Forrester saying that 49, 41% of people don't understand really what the open source world is all about. This is the senior executive in large company. And often we find ourselves educating people the same way I've been educating people for many years on open source. Uh, today, on the cloud environment, on the open source world, we are still educating a lot of people. People who want to manufacture uh, soap, they want to be in the soap business. And more and more people that have a huge IT organization, if someone can do this better than they want to and cheaper, the solution is I want to focus on my core business and IT is a, is a pet project and we should let people that are expert specialized in IT to deliver that sort of services for the organization. And I think the break point is the amount of saving by doing it properly. Uh, I think we broke the, the break point uh, happened probably two or three years ago when outsourcing, hosting, uh, bring your, your data center into an environment managed by, by an expert doing just that, be able to manage the the version control, patch control, security control, and having that, 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 that done with an SLA with a third party um, is, 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 is a huge, huge saving and huge uh, amount of, uh, uh, you can innovate more as well because you can take your personnel that maintain an environment, you take those people now and you can get them go build our future instead of working on the past. So I think people are, have recognized the fact that Working in the future is a lot more fun for the employees, first of all, and it's also where the company is going to be able to survive long term. So we've seen a lot of people investing in the future versus working in the past. So obviously that was one vendor's take on security in the cloud. But in general, here are three points for developing an effective security strategy. Review your on-premises IT environment. Conduct an internal security risk assessment and understand the security model of your cloud service provider. Now those tips, they seem like no-brainers, but they definitely make sense. And they're definitely a good starting point for any cloud security strategy. The benefits of the cloud are many, and with the right security approach, the sky's the limit. I said, the sky's the limit.
missed a cue there.